Welcome to Victory Yay. Welcome to my live stream. Today I have 67 overall. Grant Riller from the Charlotte Hornets. He's one of their rookies. He is 6 feet 2 inches height. He's their backup point guard. 2020-2001 NBA base silver card. Inside scoring, 63. Point shot, 67. Now let's check the rest of the stats right here. So Lamel Ball is the starting point guard for the Charlotte Hornets. But Grant Riller is the backup point guard. So we're going to play against the Charlotte Hornets team. I have a special lineup of Charlotte Hornets players. And then we're going to play against, as always, the first team. And we got Charlotte Hornets jerseys as well. So Grant Riller. Gameplay. We're playing against... Devontae Graham, Terry Rozier, Goran Hayward, and those awesome Char Charlotte Hornet jerseys. So Grant Riller played at the College of Charleston. So that he's in North Carolina. And of course, Charlotte Hornets are in North Carolina as well. So we have Grant Riller right here. Shoots a three, three-point shot, 20%. He misses that shot, unfortunately. You try and get the 75 overall John Moran and stuff like that. Oh, awesome, awesome. Kiki Palmer, thank you for coming. Hope you get it. And we're doing uh, gameplay of Grant Riller from the Charlotte Hornets. He's a backup point guard. Lamel Ball is starting. He is a backup point guard. And the 2020 NBA draft, he was a second round pick selected by the Charlotte Hornets. And he was the 56 overall pick. So very late in the second round. 56 overall pick. Just got done playing uh, P versus P Arena. Awesome. Hope you're having fun playing Arena. Right here. Let's go right here. With awesome Charlotte Hornets jerseys. So Grant Riller goes in. Can we score finally? Oh, we still missed a shot. He is only a 67 overall. We get a steal, though. Ran Riller. Awesome name, by the way. Nice shot right there. And hope you uh, are enjoying NBA Live Mobile still, Season 5. We missed that shot again. Oh, oh well, we'll try to do better next time. Right now, the Charlotte Hornets. Terry Rozier uh, had an ankle sprain. And so he's been out for the last two games. Hopefully he gets better. Oh, we almost scored. Almost scored. And then uh, with Grant Riller. But then Miles Bridges, who's also starting right now. Just like Lamel Ball. The original starter was P.J. Washington, but he's injured now. So Miles Bridges. Oh, we get the ball stolen. We get it stripped. All right, Devontae. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's. Can we shoot three? Can we make that three? Oh, we missed that shot. We missed that shot. So we're going to play again the same team. Now, Grant Riller right now is playing for the. He's going to be playing the G League. Greensboro. Swarm is the Charlotte Hornets G League team. Greensboro Swarm in North Carolina. And uh, he's probably right now uh, at Orlando, Florida, Walt Disney World. He's probably right there in the bubble right now. As the G League is about to start in a couple of days, I bet where the NBA players played. They're going to play at the same place, the same bubble. And Jeremy Lin, former Charlotte Hornets, Lin Sanity, he's going to be there playing for the Oklahoma, uh, playing for the Golden State Warriors, Oakland. Their, their G League team called the Santa Cruz, the Santa Cruz Warriors. So Grant Liller, finally we're going to, so that's a Grant Riller slam dunk right there. So at college, you know, he he was actually in college for five years. 
and redshirted his freshman year, and then um, scored a lot of points in college, averaged 21.9 points a game for two seasons in his senior and junior year. So pretty amazing stuff from Grant Riller, who finally scored with, and he's a silver card, and then um, awesome, get this card right here, slam dunk. I think I got it out of the Charlotte Hornets events with the Charlotte Hornets tokens. And then I got Cody Zeller and then I got some Miles Bridges. And then if you're lucky, you get the 71 overall LaMelo Ball. So, um, again, right now, two promos happening at the same time. Two or three promos, and I hope uh, you're having fun with the promos. Earth, Wind, and Fire promo. I haven't been playing that much, but Gordon Hayward goes in, and all my videos are made for educational purposes, so I use this game to to talk about the players, their lives, and uh, what countries they they come from. Many NBA players are from different countries, like Yao Ming is from China, Luka Dantage is from Eastern Europe. Many European players. So we uh, use this game to talk about those players in their lives. And also, you know, United States, there's many different states. So we could talk about the different states like North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, where um, Grant Riller currently plays. Uh, American red, white, and blue shoes. Those are the shoes that the Clippers use. The Clippers, many of the Clippers players have, if you notice in the game. Those are Clipper colors. Okay, so we have uh, right here, uh, Buzz City, another nickname for the Charlotte Hornets. Goes in, he makes a shot, he finally makes a shot, his second shot. So that's good. I'm happy he's making those shots. It's at College of Charleston, which is in South Carolina. The Charlotte Hornets are from North Carolina, and then the college, uh, the college that Grant Riller played for is uh, South Carolina, and uh, very close. Sometimes uh, they have a rivalry, you know, college football and stuff like that. Of course, uh, South Carolina does not have an NBA team, but there's some players that came from South Carolina. John Moran is from South Carolina. And I know that uh, Zion Williamson's uncle lives in South Carolina. He almost went to South Carolina to play basketball, but eventually he picked Duke University. Zion Williamson was born in North Carolina. You got these daily tokens. All right, so let's go and let's play some more. With Grant Riller. Okay, now I'm going to go to Showdown. I'm going to go to Showdown. And uh, this card is from Season 5, so I could use it in my Ultimate lineup. I haven't played Showdown in a while. Grant Riller. And then um, for this promo, I have different courts now. Those... Uh, Washington, D.C., Washington Wizards Arena Court. And then we'll talk more about Grant Riller as I do all my gameplay. So that court looks awesome. You have Houston Rockets jerseys. And I was given those jerseys. And this is my regular lineup. I haven't been playing much on this account. So Grant Riller goes in. That looks like a nice shot. It looks like he'll make that shot, but he misses that shot. Grant Riller goes in. And I think it's the first time this court has been in my video. So awesome to be able to show off this court. And we're playing against Tony Parker from France. Legendary player from the San Antonio Spurs. And the greatest French player ever. And former Charlotte Hornet as well. He played uh, for the Charlotte Hornets 
his last season in the NBA. Grant Riller goes in. Nice scoring with contact shot against Tony Parker. Now, remember that um, second round picks, right? You know, you don't hear much about them, but sometimes there are hidden gems, steals in the, in the draft. And a couple years ago, that was Devontae Graham, now starting for the Charlotte Hornets. Devontae Graham was a second round pick. And wasn't expect one is it wasn't expected to uh, play much, but ended up you know becoming the Charlotte Hornets starting point guard, and then uh, right now with Lamel Ball point guard, he's now their starting shooting guard, and he was playing Devontae Graham was playing behind Tony Parker, so he was like the the third point guard, the backup point guard. So you never know, and you never know those players, uh, those second round. Uh, picks, even late second round, you don't underestimate them. They might eventually have a very awesome career. We have Richards right here. He's been in my gameplay for Richards. Is a Charlotte Hornet right now. Just like Grant Riller. And he's pretty good as well. So don't underestimate those players. You know, in the future, you know, you might see those players play with LaMelo Ball. You know, you know. You, you never know. Grant Riller, he might have a great NBA career. We get a shot block. So Nick Richards, he's been in my gameplay before. And he's played for University of Kentucky Wildcats. And now he's a Charlotte Hornet. He is six feet. He is six feet eleven inches, almost seven feet. So he might help out the Charlotte Hornets. They could use another big man. So Grant Riller right now, another great player on the Lakers, right? My opponent has Laker jerseys that, you know, was undrafted and people did not expect much of him. And that is Alex Caruso, the go. And Alex Caruso, of course, now playing really well for the Lakers. A great defender, great role player. And he has now a long NBA career now. Riller, he's an awesome guy. Okay, so I'm going to go and uh, check uh, check my my uh, live stream really quickly. Thank you for coming. And now we're going to go now play. Let's try to play a season game. Let's see if we can play a season game. Uh, okay, yeah, we get to play the Clippers. So that's good. And then we play a season game right there. I have plenty of stamina tonight. So let's go do some more Grant Riller gameplay. Now we're playing against Kawhi Leonard. And uh, Paul George, Grand Riller gameplay right here. Let's uh, see if we win the tip. Let's see if we win the tip. Oh, we lose the tip, but let's go defense, defense, defense. Okay, so let's go right here, and then we're in good. I'm going to change my my thumbnail to a picture of Grant Riller. Okay, so we see right here. Okay, where's Riller? It's Riller time. It's Riller time. Oh, and he makes the three. Long three-point shot from Grant Riller. From Grant Riller. A future star. If anybody watches the American sitcom comedy show, uh, Three's Company, that actor, Jack Tripper, his char that's his character, Jack Tripper, but his real life, his name is John Ritter. And... Uh, John Ritter, that name reminds me of Grant Riller. Grant Riller. Of course, the last name is spelled differently, but it reminds me of that character. And his real name, John Ritter. John Ritter was a great comedic actor. Back then in the 70s and 80s. Maybe Grant Riller likes Street's Company. Maybe. Can't guard me. Grant Riller, it's Riller time. Can't guard me, it's Riller time. And drives in, uh, and he's uh, he's trying to be a hero right there. Grant Riller. And uh, really amazing, by the way, this Grant Riller. What an amazing guy. Okay, now we got Grant Riller. Grand Riller with a three-point shot right there. Ooh, Grand Riller. Riller time. 
And we just score some points right there. I'm still trying to get the Gordon Hayward card from that campaign. And also trying to get the Charlotte Hornets jersey. I haven't been playing much. But uh, thank you for coming. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And thank you again, Kiki Palmer. It's Wheeler time. Oh, we missed that shot. CJ plays. Yo, thank you for coming. How are you doing today? Three. Oh, dunk right there. Ooh, dunk. Dunk. Dunk a down right there. Hope you're having a great night. Thank you for coming. We're doing Grant Riller gameplay. And he's on the Charlotte Hornets. He's a very nice player on the Charlotte. Kawhi, the claw right here. And we both have white jerseys. These are my Brooklyn Nets jerseys. Okay, but all right, let's go. Riller time. That should be a nick his nickname. I was trying to pass it. Oh, um, for privacy reasons, um, I don't want to do that because um, I want to keep my information private. You know, Danny Awesome and KDP, they make a lot of NBA Live Mobile YouTube videos, the great NBA Live Mobile YouTubers. Yeah, they don't also, they don't show their face as well. So for a privacy reason, I don't want to show my face. Maybe one day in the future or something like that. Rich Production. Yo, remember? Yes, I remember you. Your name, uh, channel name. Uh, uh, I remember you. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. It's been a while. Hope you are well. Oh, right, okay, let's go. Ren Riller on the Charlotte Hornets. Oh, dunking. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George could not stop him right there. And I see you again. I hope you're well. And focus on Madden Mobile stuff. Oh, awesome, awesome, yeah. Cool, cool. And I, pl I actually started playing Madden Mobile a little bit. My game, every time it logs off for me, like every time I try to do gameplay, it logs off. But I just started playing a little bit of that. Some NFL stuff. It's fun. I know the Super Bowl is this Sunday. And they have a Super Bowl event. Good to be back. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, welcome back. And then um, Super Bowl on Sunday, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I actually want Tom Brady to win. Because he's like the old old guy now, the veteran. And it'll be awesome to see him win. That's something to do back. Okay. No problem. Nice to see you again, man. Take care. And I may see you later. I live stream now uh, for like the whole time, like one hour, 30 minutes. So no problem. Patrick Beverly goes in. Nicholas Batum. Let's talk about Nicholas Batum. Former Charlotte Hornet. And now power forward for the LA Clippers. He probably plays other positions as well. But when he was on the Charlotte Hornets, he was actually the shooting guard. And the starting shooting guard. And some, and also sometimes starting small forward. So, I mean, he can play multiple positions. Now he's on the Clippers. Now he's like their power forward. And he's probably, he can play small forward. And then um, shooting guard and power forward. And it's pretty amazing. And then... Um, He did not play well last year. But this year he's playing well again. So I'm happy to see that he's a veteran player. If you remember, Nicholas Batum played many years for 
played many years for the Portland Trailblazers. And Nicholas Batum is from France. Just like Tony Parker. He played uh, for the national team. Him and Tony Parker has played for the French national team. And the French, uh, they're pretty good at basketball. Even though their number one sport is football. Or as Americans call it, soccer. Alright, so we have this right here. Now we're in the Miami Heat court. American Airlines Arena. And uh, he has a Theo Maladon. Speaking of France. Theo Maladon's from France. And he plays for a French national team as well. So, he plays right now also in the NBA for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And he's a pretty good player. So, you know, Nicholas Batum, Theo Maldon, Tony Parker. Some great players from France. And Theo Maldon, you're... If there's gonna be the, if there's gonna be, uh, have, if they're gonna have the Olympics this year or next year in Japan, you should expect the, you should expect Dio Maldon to be there, possibly starting for their team as well. Grant Riller goes in. Can he make the shot? Can he make the shot? Ooh, he misses that shot, but Wendell Carr Jr. Gets the rebound and tips the ball in. The amount down to Miles Leonard. RJ Barrett. The amount down goes in. Nice shot. Nice three point shot right there. Grand Riller. It's Riller time. Ooh. We tie the game. Now, if you look at Grand Riller, the player. He looks a lot like uh, Austin Rivers, doesn't he? On the New York Knicks. Doc Rivers' son. Austin Rivers. He even has the same color shoes. So he's that same player, same build. That's cool. And Theo Maljohn looks a little bit like Jimmy Butler in this game. Looks like Jimmy Butler. He's got the red shoes as well. So I guess uh, similar players, similar builds, if you will. But I uh, give credit to EA for... I've always wanted some changes in the game. Especially uh, with the way these players look. You know, add some shoes, so add some headbands. And they did add a headband to certain players. Like RJ Barrett, as you see. Whoa, a three-point shot from downtown. Grant Riller, it's Riller time. Now, as you always see, I always recreate the Lamel Ball, Charlotte Hornet games. And sometimes, you know, I might be using this Grant Riller in those live stream gameplays. But I'll, but he is a point guard. And Lamel Ball is a point guard, so... You're not going to be able to see much Graham Riller because the Mel Ball is going to be starting. Let's go right there. Alright, so let's go a little bit right here uh, to those events right here. Okay, update it very quickly. Let me look at my uh, campaigns very quickly. I am still trying to do this event right here. And this is the Rebirth campaign right here. You see that Gordon Hayward. You can get a Gordon Hayward card. And it'll be great for my Charlotte Hornets lineup. Look at Gordon, Hay Gordon Hayward's hair right there. Number 20. And then uh, also I have uh, the old Gordon Hayward cards when he's on Boston Celtic. Now, if you go to Derrick Rose right here, you see that Charlotte Hornets jersey, the home jerseys. It cannot be auctioned, uh, but it's a gold jersey. It looks like there's a little bit of boost. Of course, I want that for my lineup right here. So let's play a little bit right here, the Rebirth events. Uh, I think I could use my lineup in here. We'll see if I could use it. 
and then uh, it'll help me um, progress that right there. Can we use this line? Oh, we can. We can't use that lineup because um, they make us use our other lineup. Okay, so then let's go right here to showdown again. Just want to show that off a little bit. Some Charlotte Hornets, Hornets stuff right there. So we're going to go and play some showdown. And then it'll give me tokens for that Dennis Rodman. Now we're playing against the Golden State Warrior team. And it's gameplay. The Redhead. Nickelmanian. Oh, we get a steal. We get a steal. We'll get a steal. Let's give a dish out assist to uh, Wendell Carter Jr. right there because he's just he's driving into the basket. We want to reward him. Award him. Nickelmanian. Oh, right there. This kid is also a late second round pick. Just like Grant Riller. So maybe one day, as I said, you might see uh, Nickelmanian play more in the NBA. Play more for the Golden State Warriors. And you might see Grant Riller play more for the Charlotte Hornets. Because I I'm gonna say it right here, they're hidden jams, hidden steals in in the NBA. So Grant Riller goes in. In a lot of the smaller schools, you know, they sometimes make it to the the big dance, the NCAA tournament in March. Sometimes they make it one year, then then sometimes uh, many years they do not make it. As you see, certain players, you know, R.J. Hunter. Hello, dude, man. Thank you for coming. And I got Grant Riller gameplay. Grant Riller plays for the Charlotte Hornets. Late second round pick. Lamel Ball starting now. So Grant Riller is the backup point guard and is playing the G League or is going to play in the G League for the Charlotte Hornets team. Greensboro. Swarm. Hello, Jimmy. How are you doing? How's basketball? How's your... Uh, did you have a game today or a practice? I appreciate you coming. And Nicomanian from Golden State Warriors, the redhead. Reminds me of Alex Caruso or Brian Scalabrini. And he's pretty good. And I think you'll hear more about these two players. Grant Riller, Nicomanian. You're doing great. Oh, awesome here. Anything uh, special happened today in basketball? On your team. You got a shooting coach. Oh, that's awesome. That's very cool. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about your shooting coach? Um, how does he help you? Like, Because you're already a pretty good shooter. With your three-point shots and everything like that. Grant Riller goes in. Misses that shot. I would love to hear more about uh, your your coach. Keep your shot in line, huh? Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, that's important. Maybe, just, I guess that means how to shoot more accurately. There's certain mechanics in how to shoot. So, you probably already are already a really good shooter. Especially if you're playing for a basketball team. But you could get even better. A lot of the NBA players also have shooting coaches. A long time ago there was like they had a they had a coach to shoot tell Shaq how to shoot free throws. Teach him how to shoot free throws. Because he's not the best free throw shooter. Shaquille O'Neal from the Lakers back then. Oh, remember you're shooting, you're shooting left and right? Okay, interesting, interesting. I do not know much about um about that, so thank you for telling me. My opponent falls down. I'm white jerseys that the where the Lakers usually wear on Sundays because of religious reasons and Christianity. Awesome to hear that, dude man. I'm going to just check really quick. Your comment went by very quickly. So Grant Riller goes in. I'm going to try to shoot right there. We got Houston Rockets jerseys. Misses that shot. And I appreciate you coming. They taught me how to only miss free throws. Long or short. 
Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, there is a certain way to shoot free throws. I know that's tough. Welcome back, Bridge Productions. And uh, see you later, dude, man. I appreciate you coming. Thanks for coming. Grant Riller goes in. First shot right here. 20% shot right there. Prozingis. Welcome back to Bridge Productions. And Bridge Productions, what is your... What state are you from? I'm from California, like Los Angeles area. What state are you from? You're from Florida, huh? Okay, awesome. Florida is very beautiful. You're rooting for the Chiefs, huh? Oh, yeah, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are, are in Florida. You're rooting for the Chiefs. Uh, I think the Chiefs will probably win. Because, you know, they're the defending champs. And they're... Oh, how, how come? Tom Brady's awesome. Legendary quarterback. Were your favorite team the Chiefs uh, back then as well? Or is it... Uh, I assume you didn't didn't really care for the New England Patriots. But I understand as well. They win a lot, right? Dude Man. Oh, okay, welcome back, Dude Man. Thank you for coming. So we have Riller. Riller time. And I love uh, doing gameplays with rookies. You're a Broncos fan. The Broncos have a lot of rivals, so I don't like... Okay. And uh, a couple years ago, the Broncos had Peyton Manning. And he won a Super Bowl. In fact, uh, Tom Brady going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It is uh, similar, kind of like when... When Peyton Manning went to the Denver Broncos. That's how I see it. Dude, man. Okay, also, you got a game tomorrow. Congratulations. I mean, good luck on your game. Good luck. Hope you win. Hope you do well. Awesome. I hope uh, you have a lot of fun as well. And I hope your shooting coach uh, helps you uh, shoot the ball even better. Become an even better player. You're a huge fan of Peyton Manning. Yeah, Peyton Manning, the great quarterback. Some people have had called him the greatest quarterback ever. Him or Tom Brady. And uh, I'll go Joe, Ma Joe Montana from the San Francisco 49ers back then. My shooting coach told me if I can get open, I could average 30 plus points. Wow, that's a lot of points. Like come off screens, dribble around, so do stuff like that to get open. Oh, I remember a player similar to that from back then, uh, Reggie Miller. And then also... Reggie Miller on the Indiana Pacers and uh, Rip Hamilton, Richard Hamilton, Detroit Pistons. Uh, they would basically run around, run around, and then, you know, catch uh, the ball and then shoot. So you might try to go on YouTube, check out those highlights from back then. They're pretty good shooters. Um, I believe they're really good at. They're good at three point shots and also mid range, long mid range shots as well. But they're kind of from back then. But I remember them just running around, running around, and then uh, catching the ball and shooting. So, you know, you, ha you have to pass the ball a lot. I'm also thinking about getting a defensive coach. Okay, awesome. Yeah, for sure. You always become a better player using defense. What's your favorite NFL player, Bridge Productions? Is it Patrick Mahomes? I understand the rivalry between, you know, Peyton and Manny and Tom Brady. Come on, let's go right there. Grant Riller. Uh, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I hope you both are having a great night. And so I love doing gameplays for rookies, especially people uh, that not a lot of people know about him. And so those are the players I love to do gameplays on. 
And maybe it helps people to learn about these players. Three point shot. Team in or some other team in the future. You know, I said that I shot 75 of 100 shots on threes yesterday. Yes, I remember that. That's pretty good, in my opinion. I don't play much basketball. But that's pretty good if if you're practicing and then you have all those shots. You know, Kobe Bryant practiced a lot. I think he I think he uh would shoot like I think ten thousand shots per day at his home. Just practicing. Well today I shot sixty eight out of one hundred, so I guess I'm getting fairly consistent. That's pretty good as well. Pretty good number as well. Pretty close to yesterday's number. And yeah, that's what the great players do, and um, they practice uh, all the way late at night. They keep on practicing, and then they're early. They come early to the gym as well, and they have that. That's Kobe who called that Mamba mentality, and it's a lot of the great players have that. It is tough though. Sports, it's tough. I was shooting free throws, and then. Went in 90, 39 out of 50 times. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I remember playing some basketball back then. And then, you know, haven't played in a while. But, you know, free throws, you kind of get nervous about it. And I know in game that you have to, it's supposed to be automatic, right? You have to make the shot. You're trying to make the shot. So I totally understand. You get nervous and stuff like that. Steve Nash, Brooklyn Nets coach, was a great free throw shooter. And then I think Stephen Curry is a great free throw shooter. That's a 79%. It's pretty good. Pretty good number. I was shooting free throws and it isn't great, but that's pretty that's that's probably because I wasn't working on them much. 79% is probably like I guess that would be like a C, almost a high B in like math and stuff like that at school. So that's pretty good. I mean you can always improve on that. I know uh, practicing though, and sometimes it's it's very different when you practice versus actual in game. You know, against real life people and then great defense, like a B minus C plus. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You can always improve, of course. That's pretty good. Not. I think you're better than most normal people at basketball. My opponent has Portland Trailblazers jerseys. Molda Center. Okay, so we go right there. Now keep on working at it. I think I asked this question before too. What do you eat? What do you eat before games and after games? Do you eat anything special? I know some players they're vegetarians only, or some players they um, eat only fish. Or some players, you know, eat only red meat. Or then other players, you know, they eat fast food, which is not always the best uh, meal. Not not very healthy. I spent seven hours working on basketball today. Wow, seven hours? Wow. You had great effort. So, I applaud you for that. That's a lot. That's some dedication right there. Before games, I usually eat cereal because the games are normally fairly early in the morning. Oh, okay, so you eat cereal. So it's like uh, breakfast early in the morning. Okay, cool. But before games, I usually eat cereals. But tomorrow's game is at 7. I love all cereal. They're always delicious. Uh, delicious treats, but like Lucky Charms and stuff like that. And then any... Fruity Pebbles is always good as well. Grant Riller goes in. Three-point shot. Riller time. Danny the Man. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming. And uh, I make a lot, a lot of NBA Live Mobile videos, NBA News videos, and other sports as well, like the NFL. So um, thank you for coming. Nice to meet you.
Yeah, hello, Danny. And um, a lot of my live streams are just talking about basketball. A game I love as well. We're playing. We're in Staples Center. So work on your game and uh, continue practicing. And then I think you'll definitely do well. Your 80 overall team. Well, it's really high overall. Awesome. I think I'm like 79 overall, 78 or something. I haven't been playing much. So awesome. Awesome grind. I've been playing NBA Live Mobile for almost like three years now. And uh started around season three. I met a lot of people. Um I met YDK Weezy before he's an EA game changer. And he's commented on my channel, come to my live stream a long time ago. And then um met Mr. Fiction, Mr. And of course, you know, love Ultimate Buckeye, Danny Awesome, QJB. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, and uh, it's a grind, so continue grinding. Stay in touch. Ultimate Jelly, yeah, he has a nice channel as well. Cool, cool. Nice to meet you. Well, stay in touch. Injury punch, injury so I can fairly injure out then. Oh, sorry to hear that, dude, man. I didn't see your comment. I hope, uh, I don't think that, I hope that, um, you know, you stay healthy, you know, take care of your body, you know, diet, workout. Be careful, of course, because you, uh, be careful in basketball. Okay, thank you, Danny. Uh, so, I make videos like every day. Um, make sure you leave a comment on my videos and, and I'll, I'll check out your channel. I'll check out your channel. Make sure you leave a comment. Sometimes I can't see your channel. From your comment right here. Dude, man, you have to go because I have to get some rest after a long day. Have a great one. Yes, take care. Have a great... Uh, Good night's sleep and rest. And good luck in your game. Hope you win. Hope you play. Thank you, dude, man. So my last year's starting to get a little bit laggy. But anyway, this gameplay of Grand Riller. He's a great player. Very nice player. Paul George. Goes in for a shot right here. He's been playing really well, right? A lot of he's got a lot of um, people making fun of him last year in the playoffs after the Clippers lost to the Nuggets, but he's playing really well, huh? Paul George, nice to see that. Okay, Danny the man, nice to meet you. Thing, I live stream every single day, so let me see you around. Okay, so we're going to play uh, some more right here. Grand Riller gameplay. He's on the Charlotte Hornets. He's the one there. Char uh, Charleston. He was actually born in Orlando, Florida. And um, let's look at the day he was born. February 8, 1997 is his birthday. He's 23 years old right now. He's actually older than Lamel Ball. Because he played in a lot of college basketball. Hello, Neon Trey. How are you doing? Thank you for coming. How are you doing tonight?
Hope you're well. We had Grant Riller gameplay. He's on the Charlotte Hornets. He's on the G League team as well. And yeah, uh, Lamel Ball starting, so he's uh he's like our backup point guard pretty much. Doesn't play much. He's older than Lamelo, and he wears number seven. And in this game, as you see, he also wears number seven. So we're gonna shoot three. He's just like a sixty-seven overall silver card. So it goes to a three-point shot. Try to make that shot right there. We missed that shot, but that's all right. So Grant Riller, let's see uh, how many uh, games he's played in, or how how many points he's averaging. Sometimes he's a late second-round pick, so. It looks like um, he has not played in an NBA game yet. He has not played in an NBA game yet, which is normal because, you know, you're a late second round pick. You're, you're essentially not good enough to play yet. But again, he's on the Charlotte Hornets roster and he's going to play in the G League in Orlando, Florida, which is actually his hometown where he's born from, born at. So he should be... Uh, he might be an underrated player. Pretty talented player. player. Alright, so let's go right here. Nice shot from here. So Taco Fall goes in. Taco Fall is a very nice player right here. And then you also, let's give the ball to Grant. We have a blocking foul. Right there, and all right, let's go. All right. Very beautiful shot. Talking about uh, shooting and mechanics of shooting, the technique, and then that was a very beautiful shot right there. So 54% halfway done, but still going to continue. And my opponent has Devontae Graham, a point guard as well. Awesome, that Devontae Graham. I I know him with that headband on. So we're two Charlotte Hornet players uh, playing against each other right now. He's also got Malik Monk. So, so this person is a fan of the Charlotte Hornets. He probably has a Grant Riller as well. Malik Monk playing really well. Came off the bench, scored a lot of points. I think the most points scored by an NBA player off the bench this season. So, my opponent is a Charlotte Hornets fan. And I am a Charlotte Hornets fan as well, of course. Go Charlotte Hornets. Ooh, nice, nice, nice shot right there. So, give credit to Michael Jordan, Midge Kupchak. Your general manager and president. The Charlotte Hornets have been drafting very well. Doing pretty well in the draft. Drafting Lamel Ball. Grant, Grant Riller. So uh, we're going to keep continue playing. And then. Alright. So and there's also another player they drafted. is pretty good. Uh, Vernon Carey Jr. And he is. Uh. Six feet nine inches, can play power forward, can play center, and he played for the Duke Blue Devils, Duke University, Mike Krzyzewski, and he's a pretty good player as well. You might see his card in the auction house as well. He's a very nice player right there. Vernon Carey Jr. Now, I expect Vernon Carey Jr. to be also a really good player for the Hornets. Now we're in State Farm Arena, and then this is the Atlanta Hawks with their nice jerseys right here. My opponent loves the Atlanta Hawks, so we're playing against the Hawks. Um... Also on the south, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Goes in right there. And then Drew Holiday goes in. Nice shot from Drew Holiday. Oh, so we have Grant Riller goes in right here. All oh, right, let's go. Riller time. It's Riller time right here. Nice shot right there. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we're right here. Let's go. The ball to Riller. And then right here. Nice shot right there. That was a tough shot. It was very hard. That would have been very hard to make it. Very hard to make it. The Hornets, man, they dropped it really well. Yeah, this they played really well. They're playing really well around. They're technically the the eighth seed right now in the East. So um, 
I'm really impressed by the Hornets. Now, the Atlanta Hawks are also a really nice team. They had a lot of veterans on the offseason, like Danal Galnari and Robin Bogdanovich to help Trey Young, and they're a very nice team as well. They really want to make the playoffs, the Atlanta Hawks. And um, Trey Young is always a good player, especially offensively. Scotty Pippen, legendary player from the Chicago Bulls. There's no Michael Jordan in the game, but there is a Scotty Pippen, his sidekick. Nice shot right there. Oh, Grant Riller goes in. Riller time. Talking about catching the ball right there. It's Riller time. So you have Morris goes in right there for a shot. And you have RJ Barron. And then you have Drew Holiday. Holiday. Talk about Christmas holiday right there. That's awesome right there. No, he hasn't played in the NBA yet. He hasn't played in the NBA game. But I hope there's more Grand Riller cards. Goes in for a dunk right there. Woo, woo, woo. Nice dunk right there. Holiday also has these red, white, and blue shoes. Woo. Nice show right there. Woo. Okay, so right there. All right, so you have Drew Holiday. Woo, woo, woo. All right, so right there, Holiday. Holiday, offensive foul. Great job, my team. Great job from Grand Riller. Love it, love it. All right, does he make it in? Nice shot from right there. Chris Toprozingas with the shot right there. Ooh, nice shot right there. Let's continue. If I don't have the stamina, I'll try to get more stamina. And then uh, Grand Riller. And that's the uh, when he was drafted by the Charlotte Hornets. He got that Charlotte Hornets hat, that cap that the team gives you when you get drafted. So that was on, I guess, draft night. So, let's go play some more. Let's go play in these live events now. Now we're going to play against the Lakers. Lakers got a good team. Okay, so we're going to shoot a three. We're going to shoot a three-point shot. And we're now Spectrum Center, Buzz City. And now we got some Charlotte Hornets jerseys right there. And we got to shoot three, but let's go. First, let's drive in. We're against Dennis Schroeder, LeBron James, Marcus Saul. And we got Charlotte Hornet players, Bismack Biombo, Malik Monk, Gordon Hayward, Miles Bridges, and then Cody Rot Cody Riller. Grant Riller. Grant Riller. My point guard. Goes in right here. Nice shot right there. Misses that shot. We have to shoot three. Anthony Davis, LeBron James right here. All right, so then you have to go right here. Let's go play some more right there. And then uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you for coming. Gordon Hayward now. Gordon Hayward playing really well. Hopefully he makes the all-star team. Or Terry Rogier, Scary Terry. Hopefully he makes the all-star team. They've been playing really well. They deserve it. It's probably only one player will probably make the team. And it's probably going to be Corin Hayward. Lamel Ball, he could make the all-star team, of course. But he's too young. Oh, get swatted away. Was swatted away. All right. 
points. So Grand Reller goes in right there. All right, so we have Grand Reller goes in right there as well. Come on, Grand Reller. What time is it? Hello, welcome back, Kiki Palmer. And you're from the East Coast. It's probably like 12 or something like that. I'm not sure if I asked you before, but what state are you from, Kiki Palmer? Nice shot from right there, Grand Riller. Davis, the shooter. Ohio, huh? Okay, so you're probably very late then in Ohio. And Ohio's a very beautiful state. You're probably a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, right? LeBron James fan. But thank you for coming. And if you have to go sleep and stuff like that, have a great night. You don't like LeBron James? Interesting. Um, I'm surprised. I thought everybody in Ohio likes him. As he is from that state. Akron, Ohio. And then played for Cleveland, Ohio. I understand uh, some people aren't, aren't the biggest LeBron James fans. So we give it to Miles Bridges and it's 22%. And he makes that shot. Are you a fan of the Cleveland Browns or like the Cincinnati Bengals? Which football team do you like? So Riller goes in right here for a shot. Riller with a three-point shot. Riller time right there goes in for a shot. Kanye West. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me. So I just call you Kanye Palmer. Okay, thank you for telling me. Riller goes in for a shot. Then a shooter. Three point shot. Okay, we make the shot. You're a Seahawks fan than the Browns? Okay, so you like uh, the Seattle, Seattle Seahawks? Okay, that's a nice team. Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll, your head coach. Used to coach for USC. And they finally made the playoffs and they actually won a playoff game, so that's historical. You don't see that much. They've been a losing franchise for many, many years. Mostly because of Russell Wilson. Oh, is that like your favorite quarterback? He's a great player. I hope one day he makes it back to the Super Bowl. And wins another Super Bowl. He's already have he already won one Super Bowl. And they're a very consistent team as well. The Seahawks, they they make the playoffs pretty much every year. So they're always a very nice team. It's tough to win the Super Bowl. Unless you're Tom Brady, it's it's tough uh, to win the Super Bowl. I believe the Kansas City Chiefs, they're defending champs and they're trying to win back-to-back uh, -back champions. They're trying to become back-to-back -back champions, back-to-back -back Super Bowls. And I don't think that has been done since... Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. So I don't think another team has done that in a while. Because it's very hard to win. So it's definitely tough to win. I 
on my main account, I'm like a, I think a, almost 80 overall, but in this account, I don't really play much, so. I'm only in 67. So there's some legendary players in uh, the Monthly Master, Jerry Lucas. He played in the NBA for many years. Seventy four. Toronto Raptors are right here. They have nice jerseys. He's got the white ones. I usually see the red ones. Well, there's some nice jerseys right there. He misses that shot. Cam Reddish. Jerry Lucas, it says on the bottom of his name, 1964, number 16. DeAndre Jordan with a shot right there. Goaltending. Sometimes it's a block and a goaltend at the same time. But um, in this game, in real life, it's either a block or a goaltend. So he has to shoot a three with Grant Riller. Looks a, a little bit too much like Austin Rivers. It's got the same player build. I think he's got a little bit of tattoos on his arms. We're being uh, guarded by the great Derrick Rose. What's your favorite um, basketball team? If you um do you like the Cavaliers though? Maybe you're just not a fan of LeBron. LeBron, he does get a lot of um he's on ESPN a lot. A lot of uh, a lot of people talking about him all the time. Carter goes in. Goes out of bounds. Nice shot from Derek D. Rose. So we have Jerry Lucas goes in for a shot. And it's a pretty close game. We might actually win there. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. I'll try that. Thanks for telling me. Let me try to shoot a three, though. Let me read your comment very quickly. I'm going to go on my computer and read it because it went by very quickly. But you're talking about post stop. But thank you for telling me um, I might try that. Trying to shoot three right there. When you post stop at the three point. This line, it goes in like 99% of the time. Hold stop. Yeah, I think I've seen some of that as well. That's kind of true. I might try to tr try that. Uh, so sometimes, I don't know if... Um, I guess you just have to post up more and more. But thanks for telling me that. So I'm almost uh, done with my stamina, so I'm going to have to go. And uh, go to a training camp event. Let's try that if I could do a post-op. Let's see if I could do it, though. See if I get a post up right here. Oh yeah, see right there. Let's see if we make it though. 
I miss mine though. <laughs> the first, at first I thought it didn't work, but today I've been doing it ever since. Okay. Thanks for telling me that. I think that what I just did was a post up. Hi, Damien. How are you doing tonight? Thank you for coming. You watching SpongeBob SquarePants? As you always watch that every day, right? Hope you're having uh, fun watching that. You said post up, right? So this is like a post up right here, right? Cool. That's a fun show. Also a Nickelodeon show. I actually don't know much about that show. Hmm. No, sorry, I didn't stop, so. Hopefully, uh, it's all right. Well, I see your comment twice. Uh, do you know the name of the movie?